Welcome to the Oasis. My name is Mike, and today I'm going to be showing you how to sideload apps and games on both the Oculus Quest and Quest 2 using an application called SideQuest. Now, I did a guide over a year ago on how to do this, but a few things have changed since then, so I thought it was about time I did an updated one. If you're new to sideloading and SideQuest, let me briefly explain what it is and why you might be interested in checking it out. You see, the official Oculus Store is a curated store by Oculus, which means that only select apps and games that hit a certain criteria are allowed onto the store. And this is a good thing as it means you always get high quality content, but it also means you miss out on some of the more experimental and indie content. And that's where SideQuest comes into its own. SideQuest is a platform where you can find interesting and unique VR experiences which just aren't available on the official store. Some of my personal favourites are the Virtual Desktop VR Streaming Patch, which is needed to remotely stream PC VR content completely wirelessly from your PC to your Quest, which I've talked about in detail in a previous video. And you also have games like Pavlov and Hyperdash, which are awesome competitive online shooters, and the Hand Physics Lab, which does a great job in showing off the Quest's impressive hand tracking capability. And these are just a few examples of the amazing content available on SideQuest. And to make things even better, most of this content is available completely for free. For those concerned, sideloading is completely safe. And I just want to be clear that it doesn't support piracy in any way. And in fact, SideQuest do a lot of work to ensure all the apps and games are safe for users to download and install. So I hope you find this video guide useful. If you have any technical questions about the process detailed in this video, drop them in the comments down below or head over to the SideQuest Discord, which I've linked in the description. So without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so before we get into the guide, there's a couple of things you're gonna need. Firstly, you'll need a PC running Windows, Linux, or Mac. Doesn't really matter about the spec of the PC, pretty much any old computer will do just fine. And you'll need a cable to connect your Quest to your PC. You can use the cable that comes in the box with the Quest if you happen to have a USB-C connection on your PC. But if you don't, you'll need to have a USB-C to USB-A cable. I've listed an Anker USB-C cable that I use in the description down below if you need a reliable cable, which can also be used as an Oculus Link cable if you're interested. And finally, you'll need a mobile device with the Oculus app installed. And now that's everything you need. Let's get into the steps to start sideloading. The first thing we need to do is to enable developer mode on your Oculus or Facebook account. Using a browser, head over to the Oculus dashboard. I've put a link directly to it in the description below. Log in using your Oculus or Facebook account and click on create new organization. In the box here, you can enter whatever name you like for your organization and click submit. Make sure you read and agree to the terms and conditions, and that is the first step done. Now we need to install the ADB drivers to allow your PC to communicate and transfer files to your Oculus Quest headset. If you're running on a Windows PC, you'll need to follow this step. However, if you're using a Mac or Linux PC, you can skip this step completely and head straight to step number three. If you're on PC, all you need to do is click on the link in the description down below to download the Oculus Go ADB drivers directly from Oculus. Now, although these ADB drivers are for the Go, they work just fine for both the Quest and Quest 2. Once you've downloaded the package, extract the folder where you want the drivers to be located using an application like WinRAR or 7-Zip. Open the extracted folder and right click on the Android underscore WinUSB.INF file and click on install. Once installed, go ahead and restart your PC and come straight back to the guide and jump to step number three. Now we need to activate developer mode on your Quest and we do this by using the Oculus app on your mobile device. Ensure your Quest or Quest 2 is turned on and on the same Wi-Fi network as your mobile device and click on the headset under settings. In the drop down menu, tap on more settings and you'll see developer mode in the list. Tap on that and ensure the toggle is turned on. Now developer mode is activated, connect your Oculus Quest to your PC using a USB-C cable. If you're connecting your headset to your PC for the first time, you'll need to allow a notification which pops up inside the headset itself. The pop-up will ask if you want to allow USB debugging. 
check the box that says always allow from this computer to prevent this from popping up again in the future and simply press on allow. And now for the final step, we need to download and install SideQuest itself. Just click on the link in the description down below and download the latest version of SideQuest from their official website. Once downloaded, run the SideQuest.exe file and select your installation location. Once the installation is complete, open up the app and you'll see you can sideload a number of interesting games and applications. Now all you need to do is ensure your Quest is connected to your PC and you'll see a little green light in the top left corner of SideQuest with your headset's IP address and battery status. Now simply click on any of the apps that you want to install and it'll be downloaded and installed directly onto the headset. Once you've downloaded and installed some apps on your headset, you can find them inside the Quest by using the drop down menu in your game library to select unknown sources. And that's where you'll find all your side loaded content. Using SideQuest, you also have access to some other useful tools and features, such as streaming what you can see inside the headset to SideQuest. You can wirelessly connect to the headset, install APKs manually, uninstall apps that are installed on the headset, change some settings, or manually run ADB commands. I should also mention that with the very latest version of SideQuest, you have an option in the settings to manually activate 90 Hertz mode, as this hasn't been officially enabled by Oculus at the time of this video. This will only work in select games and it won't work with Oculus Link, and you may need to press the power button twice to turn the screen on and off for the setting to take effect. Treat this as an experimental setting right now, but let me know if you have good results with it in the comments down below. Okay, so there we have it. That's a quick and easy guide on how to sideload apps and games onto your Oculus Quest and Quest 2 using SideQuest. Now this guide will work for some time, but in early 2021, the sideloading process will be changing and Oculus will be hosting the content instead of SideQuest. Now this is good in one way, as it means the process will be much simpler in that you won't need to register as a developer anymore and you'll get access to content by just clicking on a URL provided by developers who just want to share their content, which will make it super easy. However, on the downside, Oculus will be applying their own curation process to approve apps and games available to be sideloaded, which means some of the content we've previously enjoyed may no longer be available, but only time will tell as to what content may get locked out in the future. Once this new change comes into effect, I'll likely do an updated video, so make sure you stay tuned to the channel for that. But let me know in the comments down below if you found this video guide useful, and if so, did it work for you, and what are your most favorite apps and games to be siloaded onto your Oculus Quest or Quest 2? I'd love to know in the comments down below. Leave a like if you liked the video and you found it useful, make sure you're subscribed for all my future VR content, and as always, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.